hey guys good morning welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by today I am finally going to be working on the back of my introduction page let me move that aside I think this might be kind of like a bit hopefully not a long video um but we'll see <laughs> we'll see how it goes okay so i've already pre-cut this is just regular white card stock and i've cut it to be about half an inch so this is six by eight so i've called i've cut it to be five and a half by seven and a half and i am going to do almost like an ombre effect and i am going to do spice marmalade and sponge sugar again going with those um orangey pink colors that this collection has and this is gonna take a little bit because it's regular cardstock and this is distress ink it is not the oxide if i had the oxide inks it would go in a lot smoother but because these are the distress inks it takes a little bit longer but it still is gonna work if that makes sense it just has a lot of elbow grease basically so i'm gonna do about um maybe like one third and then the pink and then just kind of leave the top um white so i'm kind of i'm sorry if i sound kind of i don't know like i feel like i sound stuffed but that's because everybody in the family's like has a bug or something so everybody's like oh um anyways where was i <laughs> in my thoughts um so I'm gonna do almost like a candy corn, but the colors are gonna be white, pink, and orange instead of, you know, the candy corn colors. So I'm gonna speed you guys through this process because honestly, like I said, it's gonna take a little bit longer to get like a, not a little bit long, like, I don't know, like it takes multiple layers of like just rubbing and to do a better blending job. Um, who's excited to get the dome little foams? I actually ordered them and I want to see if it's going to be a game changer because these flat ones, although they do do a job, it is true that you get streaks. Um, and because I'm not very good at doing this, um, I get to do that on my own projects so i'm actually excited to to get the dome um little foamies and see if they really are going to make a difference which i think they are it made sense why didn't anybody think of that before um but anyways i'm just gonna sit here you guys um drink <coughs> excuse me drink some coffee and just do a good job blending because my throat is killing me um so warm teas warm coffee um just kind of soothe it a soothe it a little bit anyways it's basically just blending and blending until it gets to the uh consistency that you like and that you're okay with and like i said this is regular cardstock so it is gonna take me a little bit but it's all gonna be for the good because we are going to make our back cover super beautiful and we're actually going to turn it into the October challenge um, and I'll talk about that in a little bit so let me just go ahead and actually I am going to put on um, Netflix what I've been watching lately cold case and put that on and start playing so I'll see you guys in a bit okay so it's looking kind of crappy right now like I told you guys I suck at blending if you guys can't see like the streaks from the circles um are there but we're gonna 
we're going to kind of hide that by adding water and we're also going to add gold um like sparkle from like paint uh watercolor basically not paint okay and as you can see by holding this i kind of got this part dirty it's perfectly fine you guys um don't stress it and if you could do a better job blending by all means i'm gonna cheat a little bit because i am like i said going to hide the inconsistencies with um with sp uh, sprinkling water and then with the gold water color so let me put this away I'm actually I know I already said it you guys but I'm actually excited to um, to try out the dome looking things that scrapbook.com created let me sprinkle some water I don't know if I want to spray it directly or if I want to tap it um let's just spray it hopefully i don't mess it up <laughs> hopefully i don't mess it up <clears throat> so let me do that like so okay and then let me do the brushes as well Okay, I'm gonna let this dry you guys so actually I'll probably speed it up off camera I think that's good um, okay so I'm gonna dry it let it dry speed it off I'm gonna just bring my heat tool so I could um, kind of rush it um, and then I'm going to be using the watercolor from, why does my light feel like it's so dark? I don't know. I am going to be using also the, I think it's called Brilliant Gold, which is this one right here. Um, I guess I could sprinkle that too and then I get to dry them dry them all at once so let me just get this ready might need a little bit more It's a pretty little gold and then just make bigger blots blot if it doesn't work just make little dabs like so yeah cuz these are so small I need big blobs of water. Mm, they're all just coming out the same size. It's fine. It's fine. You guys can't even see it, can you? Let me see if if I could. No, is it not doing a good job? Maybe, maybe not. You guys have water on the camera. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to um, just kind of mess in here, you guys. This is the hardest part of the project. Just um, finishing this part. Um, like I said, I'm going to draw, uh, dry it off camera. Where are you going, buddy? This Cholo being obnoxious. Um, Okay, so I'm what was my train? I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, my train of thoughts are not functioning this morning. Okay, so I am going to dry these off camera, speed it up, 
and then once it's dry I'm gonna come back and we're gonna move on this is the hardest part of the project I promise um, we're practically the rest of the stuff is just decorating um, writing and that's it very simple well hopefully you guys like it but, so now that that's somewhat dry I am going to start making my lines let me just move the board out of the way and I'm going to need a pencil because I need 31 so this is five and a half the middle of that is two and three quarters very very lightly with the with the pencil you guys I'm not okay that's fine something like that no big deal okay so now I am going to be making 31 lines so I'm gonna leave some space for the title I'm going to maybe start here 15 lines I'm just kind of honestly I'm not even measuring which is probably not a good thing I'm just kind of eyeballing here trying to make sure the lines are even okay so let's do one two three four twenty seven 28, 29, 30, and 31. <clears throat> okay, so there's a draft, uh, draft, 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 and then up here I am going to be making like another line for the title. Let's hope I don't mess this up. I'm kind of nervous. Um, Okay, I'm going over it with a black Copic marker pen. It says it's water and Copic proof, so I'm hoping that it doesn't merge. Smerge, <laughs> not merge. Um, so I'm just going over my pencil lines here. Make sure I kind of stay somewhat even. Just eyeballing everything, you guys. I didn't measure, I didn't none of that all right there are lines you guys um so what do you think should i mm, i don't know if uh, i don't know should i do the stamp numbers let me go see what kind of stamps i have first How pretty does that look? Okay, so before I do that though, I am going to be bringing over um, my stickers so I can start decorating and some of the theme wrap. Okay guys, so here is the final look of our project for today. Um, I went to Pinterest and I picked out about two or three October daily if you just search October challenge you're gonna get a lot of options what I did is I looked at between two and three and then I combined them and I picked the words that I wanted to implement and work on for this month so here is the decoration I came up with very simple and now we have our reminder of what we want to do or what it means to us it doesn't necessarily mean you have to take a picture of this word um 
So for example, what does October mean to me? Well, that could be anything. That could be preparing the, the daily. So just making a small annotation, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a picture if that makes any sense. So that is going to be it for, um, for this page super cute and look how adorable it turned out and looks right there just kind of like a reminder um okay so each day this is what i'm gonna try to document about or take a picture of it doesn't like i'm actually gonna bake something and just things like that basically recording memories for each day it's basically what it is how you do the memory whether by picture whether by journaling um cutouts whatever um, it's up to you. So that's how I'm going to do mine. Um, now I am going to move on and I think I want to create an October overview. So I think my next project for this daily preparation is going to do like the calendar, kind of like what I did for the Christmas um, or December daily a few videos ago so I'm gonna work on that trying to figure out how to come up with that and this is all I have for today you guys I hope that you like the idea thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time have a good one bye